First time wearing big hoop earrings on camera. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing amazing today. So in this week's video, I thought I would do my first ever full face of one brand makeup thing. I actually can't remember the tag name for it, though the brand I've chosen to do this full face of makeup video of is an American company that's been around since 2004. They are PETA certified, cruelty free, some products are vegan, they don't have a parent company, they don't sell in mainland China, and of June 1st, 2017, this year, they have been physically sold in the UK in super drug stores. That brand is ELF. So since swapping to kind of cruelty free and vegan products, ELF has always been in my top 10 brands to go to. They're high quality, they're affordable, they're pretty, they've got good ethical standards, it's always kind of ticked every single box for me, and the one that actually sold me the most is they do free UK delivery. They're always giving away these little surprise gifts at the checkout and I love that. Totally worth it. So it's no surprise that Superdrug has decided to stock e.l.f. on its shelves because Superdrug itself is Leaping Bunny certified. It's really, really, really good on Superdrug's behalf that they are stocking more cruelty-free and vegan certified brands. One thing about e.l.f. is all of their makeup products are vegan. None of e.l.f.'s makeup products include any animal product or byproduct. So I know e.l.f. has only been stocked in Superdrug for a couple of months now and I know a lot of people People have kind of come to me asking oh have you tried it like oh, I actually haven't tried it yet so I thought this is kind of like a first impressions testing elf I watched a video on Jeffree Star testing elf and I was just hooked if he can like it I'm gonna like it so I'm excited to try them I think it'll be good another thing I really really like about Superdrug is they have a health and beauty card they're like a massive promoter for Superdrug right now this health and beauty card is so good because you can stock at points and then go and spend it on cruelty free and vegan items I honestly think if you're thinking about changing to cruelty free and vegan makeup from beauty products this is gonna save you some money that was a bit weird I don't know why I did that like that I think we should get started now because I'm super excited I need a hairband right I'm just gonna move my face out my way. No, I'm not. I'm gonna move my hair out my way. Can't move my face out of the way. That's physically impossible. Again, little disclaimer, I'm not a makeup artist. I said this in my last video. Please don't take my makeup tips and skills for professional advice. All of these products that are next to me are completely in their original packaging except one because I was desperate for an eyeliner. My double chin is in full force today. So I'm gonna start off by using the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer in Neutralizing Green. Let go. Ooh, ooh, oh it's really lightweight, I like that. Ew, okay, I expected it to drop. Oh, I expected it to be so much lighter than that. And it's coming out like pea puree. Oh my god, it's so bright. Oh, this is super, <gasps> okay, it's super, super, super soft. Oh my god, that is so soft. I love it. That was so soft. That was softer than freaking air. Okay, it feels a bit oily on my hands, I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm just gonna leave it for a second because it needs to obviously soak into my skin and attack my red areas. Here was really red and it's taken a lot of that down. It's left it so soft as well. I'm a fan of that. I didn't actually get any colour correction for this full face tutorial, purely because I wanted to see how the tone adjusting primer worked. I have used previously e.l.f. colour correction sticks and I found them to be horrific. They didn't blend very well. They really showed the pores on my skin. I have a blog post written on the colour correction sticks from e.l.f. I will link that below if you want to have a read of it. So next, I have the oil-free SPF 15 sunscreen flawless finish. Oil-free SPF S oil free spf 15 sunscreen flawless finish foundation natural previously porcelain that is a mouth full I haven't used this before either fresh packet oh it's really pretty i like that lightweight and oil free formula is designed to help prevent and even your skin tone for a long lasting beautiful semi matte finish oh it's semi matte reapply at least every two hours I don't know if I've got chicken pox and I've tried to cover them. Let's blend away, bitches. It seems to be blending quite nicely. This foundation smells like my nan, but I like it. The colour match is pretty good. I'll I'll give it that up. The foundation did say full coverage, but I can still see my spots popping through there. But it has covered any major redness around these areas, which is really good. This blends so nicely. Overall, not a bad foundation. I really like this. So next, I'm gonna go in with the HD Lifting Concealer from e.l.f in light. This bad boy is the one that Instagram is losing their friggin' mind over. Oh wait, what? 
Oh, it's really small. Oh, I dropped my beauty blender. But what brush has it got? It's got a wand brush, which is good. Good for accurate application. Oh, that is some serious coverage. I like that. Right, spots. There you go. I see why everyone on Instagram went a bit crazy over it. It is a very good concealer. That hid my dark circles flawlessly. So I have two issues with this concealer. My first one is I actually didn't realise how small it is, so I don't know how long this product is actually going to last. Secondly, this is light as shade, but I honestly think this is darker than my foundation. But other than that, on the coverage side of things, amazing, like flawlessly good. Next, we have the Translucent Mattifying Powder. Ooh. I don't really ever use mattifying powders on my face because powders on my skin don't really go that well because my skin is kind of dry in specific areas that powders are meant to go so then it kind of like builds up and looks really cakey so I try and avoid powders as much as possible dun dun oh well, that's me oh that's a sponge oh that makes more sense so I thought on the packaging this was two different powders I didn't realize this was a powder and this was a sponge oh my god Oh my god, it's like instant. <gasps> I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Mm, I love it. So next we have the MAC Contouring Blush and Bronzer Powder Palette. Now the thing is with this is I don't actually like blush. I usually do my contouring with a cream because it just suits my skin type better than powders do. But I'm going to give it a try. So the reason I got this over the contouring palette is purely because... The last time I had a contouring palette, it cost me like £9 from Make It Revolution and I only used two shades in it. I really think those palettes are really good if you're an MUA and you've got a range of clients with a range of different skin tones, but for me it's just one person. I only used two of the pans in the palette, so I just felt like that was a whole waste of money. This is in Fiji, which is the one for light toned skin, which is me. Ooh, we got the bronzer and the blusher. Where's bronze? Um, let's blend these out. So that bronzer at first went on really, really dark, but now it actually blends really nicely on the side of contouring because now I actually have cheekbones, which is good. And now it's time for blusher. I just don't like blusher. Oh, it's just so pink. Okay, I really hate blusher, so I did apply it super, super lightly, but... It seems to have gone on pretty well and it blended out so nicely but when it went on it was so strong at first so that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be for brows I brought one of each I brought a brow pencil and a brow gel I am used to using brow gels but this one comes with a spoolie end and I really like spoolie end I'm gonna try this one first so I got deep brown which is the darkest one for the eyebrow pencil if I could open boxes properly wouldn't it I just made a mess Ooh, oh it's like an actual pencil shave I thought it would be like like a tilted angled brush shape. The brow pencil is good, but I'm just much more used to having a gel. Not bad for my first ever using a pencil. However, I do feel like it's kind of one colour, whereas a gel you can kind of build up. Don't know. Gonna see about the next one. Right, so now I'm gonna use the gel and powder eyebrow kit in dark because my eyebrows are, like I said, black. Can't even get into the casing. It's a lot smaller than I expected for some reason. So we've got the gel, we've got the powder, and then it comes with this very tiny angled and blending brush. Okay, that mirror is so small. I don't know how I'm gonna see anything in that. Sorry, but I can't use that tiny mirror. Okay, so we had a little bit of a malfunction mid this filming. My camera broke, so I've had to borrow my housemates and I've had to run around uni all day trying to find a technician to help me fix my camera. So that's why I look a little bit messy now. So I'm now gonna take this kind of coppery bronze shade and pop it all over my lid as well. So these colors aren't as pigmented as I thought they were gonna be. They're nice for like a casual every day. And you can see them. 
So I have read online with this palette, if you wet the colours, then they can show up a bit more pigmented because at the moment, I mean, you can see them, but they're not as pigmented as they're made out to be in the palette. I'm gonna wet my brush and then pick one of the shades and pop it on my lid. And I'm probably gonna go with this gold shade right here. And then I think in the corner, I'm just gonna add some of this really nice creamy metallic pale color. I'm just gonna go on on the outer corner of my eye with this dark metallic copper shade. That one picked up nicely. Overall, this palette is a very, very good kind of everyday looking palette. They're just not as pigmented as I would have liked. Other than that, it's a really beautiful array of colors. So because that eyeshadow didn't exactly go to plan, I also picked up this Molten Liquid Eyeshadow from the Aqua Beauty collection. I'm gonna give this a go. Ooh, it's pretty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> Got another wand as well. If anyone knows me, I'm a big softie for metallics, so this is kind of ticking some boxes. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my God. Oh, it's so creamy. I like that. Very unusual to kind of have a liquid eyeshadow, but I like it. It's creamy. It goes on really smooth. My eyes don't feel dried out. Like I don't feel like I've got loads of caked eyeshadow on them drying my lids out. Whereas at the same time, I kind of thought, oh, this is just gonna make my eyelids really sticky. It's actually really not sticky at all. Really, really, really lovely everyday color. Oh my God. I really, really, really like that. So if anyone knows me, you know how much big deal eyeliner is to me. Ugh, so many eyeliners. As I said in my previous video, I have really sensitive eyes, so they water a lot. So when I found the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner, I was like, yes, found a waterproof eyeliner. It's crap. I have tried this already because I needed an eyeliner desperately. The first time I ever used this, I was at my dad's and it came out like a dried up felt tip pen. I also picked up a liquid eyeliner for three pound. I haven't used a liquid eyeliner since I was like, 13. And then I also picked up, which I have really high hopes for, which is the Intense Ink Eyeliner, and it's a really thick pen. I'm gonna go in with this one first, and if this is crap, I'm gonna try these two. Okay, it's not horrific, but it's just not as sharp as I would've wanted in an eyeliner, and it's not as black as I would've wanted either. Let's try this one. It's not got a very pointed end. That's all right. Oh! Damn, okay. Right, game changer. Oh my God. I love it. That is how sharp I want my eyeliner wing to be. I don't want it like this. This is not sharp. This. This is sharp. I approve. I approve of this three pound liquid liner. You beat my expectations, buddy boy. I like it. I like it a lot. So obviously I didn't take all of the eyeliner off, but I at least took off the wing. And I'm going to be testing now the intense jet black, really thick elf eh, eyeliner. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, this is letting me down a little bit. I kind of thought it would be more like sharp. The intensity is not the issue with this. It's the fact that the actual application brush, wand, whatever you want to call it, is really dry. Trying to create a wing is very difficult because it won't actually bend properly. I mean, this one is like, damn, but this one is just, I don't know. You've let me down a little bit. Next, I have the mineral infused mascara in black. Da -da -da -da. Oh, like that. Let's go, Elf Mascara. What are you gonna be like? Oh, 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 oh! Oh my God! It elongates my lashes so much. So we have before and after, and like I have really, really stubby eyelashes anyway. So I mean, you can only just see them popping out of the top. But I mean, if I actually curled my eyelashes beforehand. You'd probably see them better, but I didn't. 
Okay, that is not bad at all. Okay, so now my eye makeup's done, I'm gonna be moving on to highlighter. This is the Illuminating Palette from e.l.f. It comes with four really pretty highlighters in it and I'm very excited to try this one. So, let's go. Oh, they're so pretty. They're so soft. Oh my God, they're like butter. Look at them. There's not much fallout either. This way. Oh no, I dented it. Oh, I just smacked my elbow and now I have a numb arm. This highlighting palette is the bomb. Next, I'm gonna take my Mist and Set Makeup Setting Spray. It's gonna be used before or after you do your makeup, but I'm gonna do mine after. Ready, one, two, three. Nothing's coming out. There we go. Smells nice, but now my face feels very wet. Next, I'm gonna take my lip exfoliator in Coconut from e.l.f. These, I actually brought all of the lip exfoliators for a previous video, but I never actually got around to doing it. Comes as a lipstick shape. It's got really, really tiny bits of kind of sugar inside, so it exfoliates your lips. And just wipe it off. Next, I'm gonna take my matte lip color in Scarlet Night. Now, the reason I got this color is because I used to have a Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick and I was in love with it until I found out Kat Von D had a parent company that tests on animals. So even though they claim to be cruelty free and vegan and yada yada yada, they still have a parent company, so technically they're not cruelty free and vegan. This was kind of a dupe of it that I found. Oh, it's actually purple. On the box, that color there is red. Whereas on here, it's purple. Oh, it's like a pencil. That's cool, I like that. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, it goes on so smooth. Such a pretty color as well. Oh, I love it. Overall, I am very, very, very impressed by e.l.f. as a whole. There's a couple of products that I found were like hits and misses, but overall, I am so impressed. The ones I would 110 definitely buy again is the liquid eyeliner, the translucent matte powder, the foundation and concealer, this lipstick, and even the mascara. It elongated my lashes so much. I am actually in love with this because I feel like my skin looks pretty much flawless. I had so many spots and red marks and I've been running around all day trying to fix my camera as well and even after that, like it still looks half decent. My hair's a bit flat now. Overall, e.l.f. is a brand. I'm in love with. There's a couple of products I probably buy different ones of, maybe like the eyeshadow palette, maybe there's another eyeshadow palette that works a bit better than that one. But overall, yes, I would 110% buy from e.l.f. again, and I'm so happy that it's now literally in UK around the corner from my house because I can buy that whenever I want. I can buy this whenever I want. It's cheap, it's cruelty free, vegan. Oh, it's just ticking all the boxes. Before I end this video, I'm really gonna apologize for the quality of my video because I've had such a nightmare today. One minute my camera freezes mid shoot and dies and I'm running around uni trying to find technicians and trying to fix it. Then I'm on the phone to the place I brought my camera from trying to return my camera. Then I have to borrow my housemates. Then I can't get the plate off. Then the lighting has changed because now it's just darker outside so I've had to lighten this up so that's probably why the lighting's changed massively. Then the battery died because I wanted this to do this video for so long and I wanted it to go well and I was literally not stopping until this video was done. I could have waited and done it again and done like redone my first impressions but they would have been fake and I don't want to do that. But, like I wanted my reaction caught on camera. I would like to promise this would never happen again but everyone has technical faults in their videos and I'm really, really hoping this doesn't happen again. I am super, super sorry that this video wasn't of the best, highest quality standard but at least I didn't give up that's a positive. On that note, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed my mediocre video and I'm really sorry. So I really hope you guys liked my full face of one brand tag thing and I will try and do more cruelty free and vegan full face brand tag things in the future. If you guys did like this video, then hit that like button and if you wanna see more of my face, then hit that subscribe button. So yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching and sticking around and I will see you in my next couple of videos. <laughs> Bye guys.